Our last lesson in this unit is systems of inequalities. So my learning targets are I will determine what a solution to a system of linear or I will determine what is a solution to a system of linear inequalities and I will graph a solution to a system of inequalities. So definition and notice I just say definition because there's only one of them. It is a system of inequality. It is, or inequalities, I'm sorry. It's two or more linear inequalities with the same variables on the same graph. So just like a normal system, except this time it's an inequality. Remember, inequalities are the ones where we shade, where we shade up versus shading down. So some reminders, okay, because it's been a while. Um, always make sure that you solve for y equals. Super, super important. Thing two is this little table. So we've made this table once before in our notes. Um, I did it again just so that we can make sure we remember. So we always have y is less than, y is greater than, y is less than or equal to, or y is greater than or equal to. And all of them mean something different. So remember for when we have less than, it does not have a solid line. So it is a dotted line. Same thing for greater than. It is not. It does not have a solid line, so it's a dotted line. For equal to, it has a solid line because it is a solid line. And same thing for that one. And then as for the shading of up and down, remember the symbol tells you which way to shade. So if it's a less than symbol, but if I make him a letter, he makes the letter D, so that's shade down. This guy makes the letter P, so we shade up. Shade down, shade up. Okay, so little tidbits to remember. Little three to remember. Solutions are found on solid lines and shaded regions. You cannot find solutions on dotted lines. Please don't forget that. Now, the one new thing is now solutions are found where both solid lines meet or where both shaded areas overlap each other. So I'll show you an example of that here in just a second. All right, so examples. We're going to take this guy and we are going to solve him. So we're going to take x plus y is greater than 2 and 2x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 5. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to solve them. And I'm just going to show you the whole thing because we should be able to solve by now. Okay, so minus x on both sides minus 2x on both sides over here, divide by the negative 1. When we divide by a negative, we have to flip my symbol. That's super important, so don't forget him. Now, in class, I showed you how to graph on your calculator, and we're going to do that here as well. So we're going to go into y equals. These two right here, you type them in just like normal. So 2 minus x, and this guy is 5 plus 2x. Nothing different here, okay? But for this first one, we have to deal with this symbol right here. Now remember, if you make him a letter, what letter does he make? He makes the letter P, so he's going to be shaded up. So what you do is you go all the way over to the very edge right here where I've got this box highlighted and click Enter. You can change the color here. People are always fascinated by all the different colors that you can change it to because there's tons of them. Um, I'm just going to leave it blue. Um, and, but you come down to the line. The line part is what we want to change. Since we're trying to make him shade up, you are going to click this guy right here. Now, the way I like to think of him is that if he makes an arrow, he points up. I don't know. It's just the way that I think about him. If he needed to point down, it'd be this one. If he makes an arrow, he points down. So we want him to be pointed up. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to do the same thing for the second one. So this guy over here, though, if I make him a letter, he makes the letter D. So he's going to be shaded down. So I click Enter. I go over here, and I make him point down. Click OK. And then we're going to click Graph. Now, if you will notice, it's going to color our lines. It's going to be pretty and whatnot. Okay. So this is my system of equations. So I drew that on my paper. Um, I don't look at this one. That one's really bad. This one's the pretty one. There it is. Okay. So there he is. He looks just like my calculator. Okay. Actually, I guess my colors are backwards. I could have switched them here, but I didn't. Actually, I will just for the sake of consistency. Uh, red. Okay. And we'll make this guy blue. Okay, graph. 
So now they should look the exact same. See the red line is coming through and then the blue line is going over top. Now what I want you to notice though is that on my graph I actually draw a dotted line and a solid line where on the calculator it can't do that. Unfortunately as smart as they are it is not possible for it to do a dotted line and to shade at the same time. So because of that, they're both going to be solid lines, but you need to make sure that you notice that this is definitely a dotted line. Okay. So when it says solve it, again, don't look at that mess right there because it's all wrong. I messed it up. But so when it says solve it, this is all you have to do to solve it. Oh, goodness. You don't have to do anything else. If it asks you to find a coordinate point, which we're going to do an example of in just a second, it could be anything in this shaded area. Okay? So let's do an example of one that we have to find solutions to. So again, don't look at him. Just pretend he's not there. Um, but so are the following coordinates to, or are the following solutions to this graph right here? So the point negative 1, negative 3. So I'm going to go over negative 1. I'm going to go down negative 3. Now what I like to ask myself is, is he a solution of the blue? Well, he's in the shaded area, so yes, he's a solution of the blue. Is he a solution of the orange or the red? I'm sorry. Then I'm going to say, no, he's not a solution of the red. And so because of that, this guy is not a solution. So unfortunately, he is not a solution because he is only in the blue area. Remember, a solution must be in the blue and in the red. It must be in this area over here. All right, what about positive 2, positive 2? So I'm going to go over 2, I'm going to go up 2, and that's right here. So I ask myself, is he a solution in the blue? Yes, because he's down in this shaded area of the blue. Is he a solution of the red? Yes, he is because he's shaded up right there. So he is a solution in both because he's in both colors, he is a solution. All right, let's do these last two. So this right here, the point zero, 05, is he a solution? So I go over zero, I go up five. One, two, three, four, five, he's right here. All right, so he's right here on this blue line. So I ask myself, is he a solution of the blue? And the answer would be yes, because he is on the blue's solid line. So that works. Is he a solution of the orange? The answer should still be yes because he is in that shaded region of shaded up for my orange dude. So therefore he is a solution. He is in this. Oh, I didn't realize there's more. Um, but he is in the solid blue line and he's in the orange shaded region. All right, the point zero two. So I go zero, I go up two. So right here I'm on the orange's dotted line. But let's ask ourselves the questions, are we in the blue area? Well, he's in the shaded down blue area, so yes. But is he in the orange? The answer to that is no, because remember, answers can, our solutions cannot be on dotted lines. So because of that, he is not. All right, last but not least is my point negative one, three. So I go over negative one, I go up three, and that's right here, this intersection point. So the instinct is to say yes, because that's where they intersect. But remember, dotted lines are not solutions. So the blue line is a solid line, which is a yes. So he's a solution for the blue. But since it's on the dotted orange line, he is not a solution. So therefore, he is not a solution to the system. If you have any questions, please feel free to come and see me.